Hey guys, okay, so it's me, Jasmine, and it's um really, really, really late at night right now. Well, for me it is, because like, I go to sleep early for some reason, I don't know. I just get tired really easily, because like, I usually have really busy days, so yeah. Um, it's 12.07 right now, so that's why my eyes look so tired and... Ugh. But anyway, so I am up doing a shopping. You can't really see, like, can't read it because it's backwards. So unless you know how to read backwards, this is great for you, but can't read backwards. Um, I'm using my computer camera right now because my... Um, Canon broke, sadly, thanks to my little brother, so I'm getting a Nikon, um, the new, I forgot what it's called, but yeah, it's pink, and it's professional, it's one of the, like, professional cameras, it, like, just came out, but, okay, so, I... I'm doing a video on my shopping list because um, this is my back to school shopping list and I just wanted to like like give people an idea of things to get for you know back to school um, to look nice like I'm going into my freshman year of high school next year so I'm really excited about it and like I'm trying to change my wardrobe and make it like more mature like cuz I right now I pretty much have like I'm in my middle school stage to me my middle the middle school stage is Abercrombie Hollister and Aeropostale and just like crop tops that are like really Wow, like crop tops that have like big hearts on them that have like all this ruching and beading and um sequence and stuff. Like, no, I'm just like now I'm just trying to go for the more subtle, nice things like um blouses and stuff like that, and really pretty things. And like, yeah, so. Anyway, so I have to change all of that. So, it's going to be lots of money and lots of time. And I am starting my outfit shopping um, in the summer, like in the early summer. So, like, I, and like, I'm not wearing any of them though. But I'm just, like, going to gain all of those clothes and make one big back to school haul. And, yeah, and I'll be set for school really well. So, anyway, on my shopping list, the first category or department, I should say, I have on there is makeup. And makeup's really important because you don't want to go to school with an oily face or like a dry face it depends on what type of skin tone you have an oily or really dry face and look like you just woke up and like bags under your eyes and like it's just not good you just don't look good so makeup <sighs> okay so I like the more natural subtle look like I like I'm like my eyeliner and all my makeup is like coming off but um like so for me I like neutral color lipstick and that's number one on my list neutral colored lipstick is great the next thing is um blush and all of my makeup is 
buy Mac because to me Mac is the best brand and I don't want to go to school with a crappy brand and have it melting off of my face when I'm in the sun like no thank you that's nasty so I'm gonna stick with Mac and um blush too is really big for me I just think it makes you look more girly and flirty and stuff like that it's a nice touch and I like the peach twist blush slash bronzer because you could use it for both but I use I'd like to use it more I use it for like eyeshadow because it's really pretty color and blush would be good not for bronzer though it's too pink too much on the pink side and um next is liquid eyeliner liquid eyeliner is big because I like eyeliner and I like to wear like a ton of it and right now I don't have wings but usually I like to put wings there so yeah um so you have to use liquid eyeliner for that you know the more Lauren Con Conrad wings those are really pretty I like to use those a lot um and then I just use liquid eyeliner on my bottom so yeah, this video is getting really long, so I'm going to speed it up. Um, this is pretty much only back to school makeup. I'm going to do, so this is going to be part one, and then I'm going to do back to school jewelry, and then back to school clothes, back to school shoes, back to school accessories. So it's going to be a lot. Alright, so anyway, next on my makeup category would be, um liquid concealer also by mac all of them by mac um the liquid concealer is really important because you i don't like powder concealers because they come off really easily i like liquid concealers so just put like if you have a blemish on your face you don't want it to be like all out there or discoloring or like if you got a really bad tan or if your skin's peeling from being out in the sun like on vacation you know from summer um it's gonna happen so liquid concealer really works so I use that a lot and for bags you know and then next on my list is liquid foundation liquid foundation like what you need like this is really like the thing that you really need foundation powder foundation is okay to me but it doesn't stay on so long and doesn't really like absorb into your face and the s it doesn't really have spf in it which is not good because spf you need spf um to block your your skin from the sun's rays that are really harmful that could cause skin cancer and like really bad things could happen from some, like ultraviolet rays and stuff like that so it's really good to have SPF protection at least SPF 15 is good and that's usually the amount that they'll put in um foundation liquid foundation I know well I haven't seen a powdered foundation that they put SPF in so that's really why I use liquid foundation and because it's it just looks smoother and nicer on the skin. And then next is um powder. Um the powder, I forgot what it's called. Um translucent powder. Yes. Translucent powder is the set like it sets settles the foundation into your like onto your face so it doesn't look so caked on it looks more blended and stuff like that so yeah unless you want to look fake I'd get powder translucent powder um then facial primer and um uh eyeshadow primer I mean eyelid primer those if you're gonna put on um, foundation or like eyeliner or eyeshadow you need to have those two so they stay on and they don't melt off in the Sun because it's happened to people I've seen it happen 
girls walking around thinking they are, you know, the coolest thing in the world. And you're like, you have like, I don't know, when, when your, um, when your foundation starts to melt off your face, it discolors parts of your face. So, like, you can see the foundation, like, blobs of it, so it looks caked on, and, like, your, like, your eyeshadow, I mean, your eyeshadow and eyeliner just starts smearing everywhere it looks really gross so that's a big no-no so that's definitely why you need primer so it stays on longer and then next you don't really need this um but if you want um eyeshadow is optional i do wear eyeshadow i just think it adds more of a pr more girly flirty pretty touch to it um i like neutrals or smokies or corals I think those are the nicest um but yeah but you could go for whatever you want I mean I'm not the type of person that would come to school with like a beaming bright aqua blue on my lids I just think it's way too much like just go for a subtle natural everyday look and that's best for high school if you don't if you don't want to get made fun of, it's best. So, yeah, I hope you guys liked my video. Um, that was the end of my makeup part of my list. This is jewelry, so that's the end of my makeup list. So, yeah. Hope you guys liked it. Um, definitely go and check out my other... Um, mm, 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 mm. my other four, um, back to school shopping list ideas. Um, if you liked this one, please like, subscribe, subscribe, and rate. Hope you guys liked it. Bye.